With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends. So our question is, a particle is, uni is in uniform circular motion, then its velocity is perpendicular to. So friends, if we assume that this is a particle of mass m moving anew in a uniform circular motion of radius capital R. As it is the case for uniform circular motion, so it, it, the speed of the particle will be constant and let the magnitude of speed be v. Friends, as the particle is moving in uniform circular motion, that is circular motion, so we can say that the particle will be having its speed in tangential to the circle. So, here is the direction of speed and the speed of the particle is v. Friends, as the particle is moving in the circular motion, so the acceleration of this particle will be acting radially inward, something like this. So the acceleration of this particle is AC in this direction in order to move this particle in circular motion. And as the velocity is in anti-clockwise direction, so the omega is something like this. And the direction of omega will be represented by thumb using right hand thumb rule that if we curl our finger in the direction of rotation of this particle, so thumb represents the omega. Hence, we can say that omega is represented by dot in this case. So, here we can clearly see that omega is perpendicular to the velocity as it is acting in upward direction and velocity is in the plane. So, it is perpendicular to velocity. Also acceleration is perpendicular to velocity as radius is always perpendicular to tangent. So this one is also correct. Now friends, as the acceleration of this particle is in inward direction and in tangent, the tangential acceleration is zero as the block is moving with constant speed. So the net acceleration of the block is acting in radially inward direction and that is equals to AC. Hence we can say that F net is also acting in radially inward direction. So we can say that F net is also perpendicular to V. So this one is also correct one. Hence the correct option for this question is option number 4. That is all of this. Thank you friends. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.